Legendary lore is something from the distant past, faint, fuzzy. Rarely do we have an opportunity to see something in front of our own eyes where we say, this is legendary. That happened during the Pacific Minigames at Palacios Baseball Field, June 24th, 2022, an Iron Man pitching feat unparalleled in the ballpark's 40-year history. Many of the NMI players were together on previous national teams, including the Pacific Games gold medalist in Nomea, New Caledonia in 2011, where Jones threw two complete game shutouts over Palau, a one-hitter and a four-hitter with a combined 25 strikeouts. In front of an overflowing, adoring crowd, Jones dominated Guam 4-1 to one at the beginning of the games. Swing and a miss. A seven-inning one-hitter with 14 Ks, but that wasn't his greatest achievement. It was only a preview. Swing and a miss. Championship Friday the next week was a double dipper. NMI versus Palau in the afternoon with the winner advancing to the gold medal game under the lights against Guam. The loser settling for the bronze, a medal that neither team wanted. After roughing up NMI 13-2 by Mercy Rule during round robin play in front of the largest sporting crowd up to then in NMI history, Plow had reason to be confident. The scene was set for high drama. A loss in the afternoon would eliminate Team NMI. Watching Guam or Plow dance around Tanko Field Friday night was not something anyone on Team NMI wanted or even wanted to think about. It was unthinkable. Plow must have felt good about their chances until the first inning when Jones struck out the side. Batters lunged at sweeping curves, many of them dropping out of the zone. Jones struck out seven of the first nine batters, flummoxed. Plow had not hit the ball out of the infield, not even a loud foul. Jones went on to record a two-hit shutout with 17 Ks, leading NMI to the gold medal game against Guam. He threw 127 pitches on an afternoon with the heat index hitting 102 and the UV index on the wrong side of extreme. Seeing Jones bench for the championship must have been a relief for Guam. How could he not be spent after that three-hour nail-biter under an uncaring sun? Online viewers jumped at 22,000 for the finale. NMI started Franco Nakamura on the hill. He's a catcher who clubbed the only home run of the tournament. Guam jumped on Nakamura with four runs, though, in the third inning. Placing fair ball. One run will score. Here comes another run, and it's two to nothing, Guam. A triple. The NMI rallied to tie the game in the top of the fourth. Hard hit, left field, left hitter going back, 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 in. Reaches up. He cannot make the catch. One run comes in, two runs in. Here comes a throw. Not even close. A two RBI double for Juan Iguel. Coming out of the dugout like a ghost from games past, Jones strode to the mound to start the bottom of the fourth, and there was a buzz in the crowd, amazed to see him go out there again. But those who knew him were not surprised. Pitching on three hours rest, Jones did not come out sharp as the first two batters cracked hits and Guam scratched in the go-ahead run. Perhaps sensing that this Jones was not the same Jones, the alarm sounded. NMI Bats woke up with five more runs in the top of the fifth inning. Ben Jones Jr., Juan Iguel, A.J. Lazama, Noki Saralu, and Shane Yamada responded with multi-hit games to whip up the largest crowd in NMI sports history, even bigger than the week before. Jones labored in the sixth, surrendering three more runs. Was there any chance the manager was going to take him out? Yeah, the same chance as the ocean disappearing tomorrow. The theme of Pacific Minigames 2022 was rise to the occasion, and no one rose higher in front of more people than Josh Jones. A win would not only give NMI gold in baseball, it would also lift NMI to third place in the overall standings, leapfrogging Australia and ahead of Pacific powerhouses such as New Caledonia and Fiji. Josh wasn't thinking about that when he walked to the mound in the bottom of the ninth inning to seal a 12-9 lead. His only focus, getting three more outs. First batter, Guam swings and misses at a big breaking ball. One down. But four consecutive balls brought the tying run to the on-deck circle and had the potential gold medal runner grabbing a bat in the dugout. Next batter, though, was declared guilty 
of Starin at a strike three. Down to their final out, Guam could only muster a soft chopper to the third baseman who tossed the first to end the game. TNMI erupted, flinging their gloves high in the air, jumping for joy, hugging for happiness, while the crowd celebrated and kids grabbed baseballs to get autographed by the medalists. Jones threw 230 pitches that day, and he won two medal round games. He beat Guam and Palau on the same day. He struck out 26 batters in 15 innings, and he did it in front of a record crowd for a gold medal. No one else had done that before, just Josh. <laughs>